Yep. Back out. This time, middle of nowhere. Middle of nowhere. It's just fields, hills, sheep. Yep. Sheep. Ancient monuments up there. Hills up there. I'm going that way. There. Let's see what's about. Just me. Solo. First solo in a long time, like. I don't think anybody's available, or just forgot to ask. It's a last minute decision. So I really couldn't plan all chess week. Still busy. Moving house and that. Oh, it's, it's hard work shifting house. I mean, you've lived in a flat for like, I think I've been there 14 years in that flat. There's so much rubbish, man. So much stuff to shift. It's unbelievable. But I'm getting there. But weekends are for getting out and about. Carrie says she's not coming on this one. It's too cold. Can't blame my leg. This is looking at last week's. Uh, the wind chill. I did mention wind chill quite a bit, didn't I? I was watching it back, I was laughing, thinking, shut up, man. The deep wind chill. Anyway, I'm going to push on. I'm out in the Cheviots. The location will be in the title. And that's it. It's going to crack on. It'll be about an hour's walking. Hour and a half walking. Half one now. Should be set up by three o'clock. Yeah. Crack on. Come out to uh, country places. I know it's common sense, like I'll shut the gate. But I think the farmers need a bit of goose grease on this. Listen to this. <laughs> it's like a bullet. Oh, oh, comes right through you. Yeah, top tip, bit of goose grease. Sort of your squeaky gate. <laughs> anyway, onwards. So, I've been walking for about 40 minutes and um, I've come past the, the farm there. The working farm, the dogs are going crazy like. Bark, bark, bloody bark, man. Shut up. Don't you know this is the countryside? Up there. It's Yeavering Bell, that one. Coming up there a couple of times, Mr. Stalker and I. Today though, I'm gonna see what it's like up there. I think that's Easter Tor, it's called. Let's see what it's like when I get up the top, if I get up the top. The wind's blowing already down here, so I think it's gonna be really windy up there. You see the clouds moving fast. Oh, it's gonna be really windy. I might drop down a bit. You see what it's like. Um, but yeah, it's a, that's the target. So I think I'm gonna go along there, and then up the side of there, up the back of them trees, up to the top of there. It looks pretty high from here, like. <laughs> Lovely place, this. The rolling cheviots. You can walk for miles and miles. I've seen two people, two people up there. I've just gone up that path. They might be going to the same place as me, but they've got a dog and they've no backpacks. So they're not camping. Oh, there's the wind. Ooh, I think this might be a change of plan here. Like, if it's windy down here, it's going to be like up there. We'll crack on. We'll have a look. We'll see what it's like. I might just come back on the Eva and Bell Lake. Let's see what happens. See how I get on. Oof. That looks more than a quarter of a mile. Yeah. I hope it's uh, hope it's somewhere to shelter on there. Because the wind's getting up. It's the middle of nowhere this. Bleaksville. God. There's no. 
What a flipping grey day. So, it's a good hike up here, like, ooh. We'll see what it's like at the top. It's supposed to be flat, but with flat, it means there's no shelter from the wind. So I might have to find a little drop down spot. I will see. Get the top anyway, much about. It's all right, there's no, no people up here. There's even snow up there. A pile of snow. I've seen two people. That was them walking the dog. They went on the Yeverin Bell, which I nearly went on because the wind was getting up. But then when I got to the crossroads, left to Yeverin Bell, right to this one. And this, to be fair, this looked easier. So I took the right. So I did the right thing. Right. Ooh, foxy attack. Foxy. Is that a right meal, eh? <laughs> Technique prisoners, Mr. Fox. Or could have been a badger. Or a wild cat. Oh. Well, I'm on the top of Easter Tor. That's Newton Tors. Wester Tors. Whatever. But as you can hear, the wind is horrible. God. Look the grass. Oh man, why is it going to be windy? Ideal spot. Lots of flat bits. A few little lumpy bits as well. But it's windy, man. Oh dear. Why has it always got to be flaming windy? It's ridiculous, like. Drop down a bit, I think. Definitely, in fact. Whoa. That's where I come up. That path there. Side of that hill. Down over there, all the way around. But three and a half mile, like, can he walk? It's not too hard, there's a couple of steep bits, but it's mainly all right. I'm gonna find this flat, flat bit out of the wind, come back with that. It's too much, this. <laughs> Set up, it's ten past four. The sun's just going down up there, but it's just horrible murky out there. Like, it's uh, hold on a minute, I can't find it. It's, a, it's not the greatest, like, oh, and that wind is terrible. Look at it, man, there's no view. Well, you can make out the, the distance, but it's no special. Uh, I measured the wind before, the uh, not the temperature, the, the speed of the wind was 25 mile an hour, man, up on the top. It's so much better down here, it's a little bit, I've dropped down a little bit. But um, I'm out of it for the main, so that's all that matters. It's cold though. Oh. Right, so tonight I've got Elvis juice, which isn't bad, like, it's, it's not a bad drink, it's quite refreshing. Grapefruit infused, six point odd percent. Brewdog do some nice beer, like. The Jackhammer. Jackhammer, I think, is the strongest one they do, 7.2, that's an IPA. Ruthless IPA, that one, apparently. This one's called Cheeseburger Cavalry. <laughs> oh, there's that light doing that thing again. The cans are a work of art, like. Anarchy Brew, 6%, Paradise City, 7.2, Beaver Town 
Skull King double IPA, that's a double one, that one, D-I-P-A. That is 9.2%, I didn't even realise that. I thought it was 7. I thought that was 7.2, it's 9.2. Christ, I'm very hammered. Never been on the drink all week. I had a couple of these last night. And I was legless like. So I think some of these may come back with us. Never know, you never know. Also got some new boots as well. These are nice. Mindle. Mindle Bhutan them. I'm going to state them already, man. I don't know if I treat my boots well. But if you're going to buy them and pay a lot of money for them, you're going to have to use them, aren't you? If you use them, I do. This is the second time out for them. They're nice and comfortable. You tie them, you tie the lace. You tie the lace round there. And then miss that one out. Miss that one. Go straight up to there. But then come back and tie your knot on that one there. If you know what I mean. So you lace it up, normal way, lace it up just from that one there, go up to that one, and then cross it over and come back down to that one and then tie it. That's your tying one. Because that stops that gives you a bit of flexibility there with the ankle bit. This is memory form, you know. So it's not rubbing you, it's not tight on you ankle to start with, just breaking them in, you know. But yeah, the good boots, nice and comfortable. Them Scarpa ones I've got are alright, but they're, they're cramp on rated, so they're really stiff and harsh. I brought me sampling glass tonight. Meatballs. Potato. Uh, the table there. Let's set it up. I've got a new silver foil mat. This covers the whole of the the whole of the bottom of the tent like and then some it goes up the side. But don't know make a difference. It really does make a difference. This is double sided on both sides. Double sided foil. So that should be nice and warm tonight. I think I'm gonna need it like. Oh but that wind that wind's mad. Anyway, I think I'll just uh, sit and listen to the radio. I've got the radio keeps company, old mate. Plenty water. Plenty hot drinks, plenty food. I'm all set. I'll bring you back when I'm sampling the beer, which won't be long. <coughs> it's really helped that I'm full of cold. Like I've been, I've had a cold all week. Been trying to shake it off. I think I'm over the the fever bit. I just got the runny nose now and the sneezes, but this is nice. Only 6%. When I say only 6%, the next lowest one I've got is 6.8%, and then it comes up to 9 from there, so that is quite the mild one. It's hazy and hoppy, fruity, and it's, uh, oh, it's nice, like. It's gone down well. It's quite, uh, quite refreshing. Yeah. I'll give that one, uh, I'll give that four, four out of five. Eight out of ten. Oh, so what I'm doing is, I'm just sitting, chilling out. I've got me, <coughs> I've got me down coat on, because it's cold. Top tip, if you've got a down coat, and you want to keep warm, is put the hood up. Oh, light is so bright. You put the hood up. And it keeps the um, it keeps the cold from going down the back of your neck and into the coat. So this makes all the difference in the world when the hood goes up. It's amazing, like, but my hands are cold. Um, actually, a bit warm now. This wind is just constant, like it's it's like being. Um, anybody saw the video I was on the Merrick? It's like that. It's just blowing constant wind. I'm stuck in the tent. I can't really go out. I was going to go and set my camera up outside for a bit of a night lapse because it's still a bit, cl it's still clear over there. Like I get the tent in. I do that later. I'll have my tea shortly as well. A bit hungry, but yeah, it's just down one of them nights, isn't it? I mean, it's just nice to be out. I don't mind the wind and all that. I just wish it would bugger off. <laughs> I say I don't mind it. I wish it would sod off. This bit flaps here, this panel flaps a lot. So I get condensation in already because I've got to keep all the vents shut because otherwise it's freezing. 
But yeah, it's, uh, it's not ideal, but you know, I'm out. That's all that matters. So anyway, I enjoyed that Anarchy Brew. I think that one was two pound, two pound forty, I think. And then our people say, oh, it's a lot of money for a can of beer. But I've, I've poured that about half an hour ago. And you take your time drinking it, you know, you savour it. You don't gulp it like you do with Fosters and all that. So I'll have another one after that, I think, is this one. This is called Cheeseburger Cavalry. Cheeseburger Cavalry. Ah, oh, is the light doing that bloody thing again? What's the problem with this flaming camera? I don't know what's going on. I think it's because I'm too close and it's reflecting back. So, you know, see, so it's too bright. So the light goes off. It's like automatic light. Cheeseburger cavalry. That's 6.8%. That's next up. Let's see how that one is. I'll review it on uh, Untapped. A lot of, it's good that Untapped. You can review all your beers and you can see what others think and you can get some idea of what you what you like. Oh, just to make a kill a bit of time. Right, I'm waffling on. Waffle, waffle, waffle. What am I like? What am I like? Warmed up now, like. So here we're going. Get on. on. Cheeseburger cavalry. Right? I mean, the, the can. The can itself is a work of art. Cavalry bloke with a cheeseburger for a head. Oh, wait, man. <laughs> that's lovely. That's really nice. Oh, I'll give that top marks. Oh, that's beautiful. Hoppy, fruity, hazy, juicy. And it's murky, look at it, murk. Cheeseburger cavalry. Top notch. And it's 6.8% citra and mosaic IPA. The citras are nice, like. I don't think I've had a bad citra yet. But yeah, that's lovely, that. Very, very nice. Cheeseburger cavalry. I'm gonna neck it. Chin it. Alright, so. I've had loads of beer. Loads of beer. Loads of wind, wild behaviour, all the rest of it. I'm going to bed in a minute, like. And, um, this is the last beer of the night. Beaver Town Skull King Double IPA. See when it's double IPA. Oh, God, I've got hiccups. Double IPA means really strong. And here we got 9.2%. 9.2%. So that's really strong. Hmm. Ah. Ah. It is strong. It's nice, it's hoppy, you know. It's very hoppy. I'm not sure. I had one earlier that. Um, the Cavalier, the Cavalry one was much better. Best one of the night, actually. But, that's it. I'm going to bed. Because I've had no food. Because... So, a few beers tonight. Um, uh, uh, to this, I said earlier that the gas bottle that I had, I bought the gas bottle from Go Outdoors, and there was a girl there working, and she says, uh, she says, oh yeah, the, the, this will work with your stove, the Van Gogh stove, Some screw thread. When I've come here the night, like, you know, I'm really hungry. I had meatballs and potato and water and all that. And when I went to put the gas on, it's not a screw thread at all. It's like a push on. So I can't, I can't cook my food. So basically what I'm going to have to do is go to bed without having any food. I've had a couple of packets of crisps. I had a lovely, a lovely um, bacon, egg, and mushroom sandwich this morning, courtesy of Carrie. 
Curry, by the way, makes the best sandwiches, bacon, egg, and mushroom sandwiches in the world. So that's your new that's your new job. No, I mean I was I was like blown away by that sandwich this one. Absolutely lovely. Um But that was it really, that's all I've had to eat. I've had a packet of knickknacks and some walkers crisps. I can't cook my food because the bloody gas doesn't fit the flame and what the thingy me Anyway, we're gonna go to bed. It's ten o'clock. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna put Craig Charles on the 10 o'clock show. I'll probably drop off. See what time I get up in the morning. See if there's a sunrise. I'll set me along for about half past seven. Half seven, quarter to eight. The sunrise is uh, the sunrise is due about eight o'clock. No, 8.30. Alright, so I'll reset me along for eight o'clock. And then we'll see if there's a sunrise comes over. That way. I probably won't. Probably won't because of the bloody fog and ah, it's pretty crap like. It's pretty crap. There's no views. Alright, so I'm going to bed anyway. Catch you later. Boosh. It's London Dry January here in Teddington, Craig. That's from the Dixons. See what you did there. Says Craig, a usually Saturday night, a usual Saturday night for me, up a hill, wild camping, listening to a pile of funk. Love it. And he sent a picture from in his tent. See how, see how zipped up he is. He doesn't look very happy. Does that? You've got to have a hobby. <laughs> What's wrong with sitting in front of a, car, a, a, a nice log fire and drinking it? Something. 25 year old McLaren. Right, well, I was drinking, and now it's morning time. Time to go home. Oh, look at it up there. It's not bad, actually. I missed the sunrise because I'm laying. I'm not bothered. Oh, I'm just going to pack up and get out of here. Make like a tree and get out of here. Drinking water. Uh. Right. Oh, and let's get sorted. Oh, it's still cold. Windy. Windy all night. I slept like a bloody log, actually. I slept like a log. Just a mess in here, like, but I'll try to clear it. I didn't have my food. The gas was wrong fitting. Wrong fitting on the gas. Oh, right, I'm off. Right. That's me away. That's where I was. Just there. No traces. It's absolutely freezing. Pretty wind, man. The wind just won't stop. I'm gonna go over there. There, it's a canny walk back like down the side of that. That's Yeaverin Bell down the side of that, and then the back of there somewhere. Uh, it's about three and a half mile in this weather. I hope the wind stops when I get down there. Great, I'm off. Let's see what this brings. Uh, slightly hungover. <laughs> Oof. I'm going to climb this a little bit here. Oh, I missed the sunrise, didn't I? It'd be alright. Easter tour. Done. Oh, too much. It's when you down out of the wind. I wouldn't believe how windy it was up there when you come down here. That's Easter tour. I was just camped just to the right of it there. Which is nice and flat on the top. If it wasn't windy, you could camp on the top easy. Sun's up. It's not a bad day, it's cold. There's some ice on the puddles, but 
Yeah, other than that, it's a nice day. Nice day for walking in the Cheviots. Cheviots, whatever you want to call them. So, that's it. Another camp done. Second one of this year. I'm not sure when I'm back out. <laughs> back out. I have to stop saying that. But that's it. From a cold but very nice picturesque Cheviots. I'm off. I'm gonna make like a tree and get out of here. Right. Just to leave you with this view. <laughs> you can't beat a bit of bully. Does your bull charge? No, no, he'll kill you for free. <laughs>